Narrated by al Qasim. Aisha said, We set out with the sole intention of performing Hajj and when we reached Saraf, a place six miles from Mecca, I got my menses. Allah's messenger peace be upon him came to me while I was weeping. He said what is the matter with you? Have you got your menses? I replied, yes. He said, this is a thing which Allah has ordained for the daughters of Adam. So do what all the pilgrims do with the exception of the tawaf, circumambulation, round the Kaaba. Aisha added, Allah's messenger peace be upon him sacrificed cows on behalf of his wives. Narrated by Aisha While in Menses, I used to comb the hair of Allah's messenger peace be upon him. Narrated by Yurwa A person asked me, Can a woman in Menses serve me? And can a Junab woman come close to me? I replied, All this is easy for me. All of them can serve me, and there is no harm for any other person to do the same. Aisha told me that she used to comb the hair of Allah's messenger peace be upon him while she was in her menses, and he was in Itikaf, in the mosque. He would bring his head near her in her room, and she would comb his hair, while she used to be in her menses. Narrated by Aisha the Prophet peace be upon him used to lean on my lap and recite Quran while I was in Menses. Narrated by Um Salama While I was laying with the Prophet peace be upon him under a single woolen sheet, I got the Menses. I slipped away and put on the clothes for Menses. He said, Have you got Nifas, Menses? I replied, Yes. He then called me and made me lie with him under the same sheet. Narrated by Aisha The Prophet peace be upon him and I used to take a bath from a single pot while we were Junub. During the menses, he used to order me to put on an izar, dress worn below the waist, and used to fondle me. While in Itikaf, he used to bring his head near me and I would wash it while I used to be in my periods, menses.